Hey what's up guys Tanmay here back with another video for our channel Simple Snippets Now this is the second video for our playlist number system and conversions So in this video we are going to be looking into the conversion of decimal numbers to binary Now if you have missed the first video you can have a look at it as we have discussed the definition of number system and also some some different types of number systems Now in this video we will be solving three different problems so instead of showing you a slide show we will be solving these sums in real time to make it more intuitive Now the first one is a plain integer decimal which needs to be converted to binary the second one is a fraction and the third one is a combination of both okay so let's get started with the first sum as you can see the i have written the question over there we need to convert 12 in decimal to a binary number so here's the solution just make the table as i have drawn write the decimal number in the top right corner and write 2 in the top left now this 2 is the base or radix of the number system to which we need to convert this number in this case it is 2 because we need to convert it to a binary number so we have to divide this number 12 till we get the quotient as 0 and we'll be interested in the remainder so for the first iteration we know 2 6 are 12 and this gives us with a remainder of 0 For the second iteration we know 2 3 are 6 which again gives us a remainder of 0 for the third iteration we know 2 1 are 2 which gives us a remainder of 1 and for the last iteration we know 2 0 is a 0 which again gives us a remainder of 1 now since we got 0 as a quotient we need to stop this process and we also have got our answer in the format of remainders and we need to write the answer in the descending order So in this case, twelve in decimal is equal to one one zero zero in binary. So this is the answer to our first question. Now let's move ahead with the second question. Okay, so in this question, we have a fraction decimal number zero point six two five, which needs to be converted to a binary number. So in this case, we multiply zero point six two five with two until we reach zero, or we reach a similar patterned answer. that is we first write down the decimal number we multiply it with 2 which results in 1.25 here we are interested in the integer part so we write it separately now we ignore this integer part for the next iteration and we write only 0.25 Now we again multiply this 0.25 with number two to get a new value, which is 0.50. Here the integer part is zero, so we write it down separately and ignore it for the next iteration. So for next iteration we have 0.50 again multiplied by two, and we get the value 1.00. we write down the integer part and ignore it for the next iteration now for the next iteration we've got the value of 0 so if we multiply this with 2 we'll again land up with the same answer that is 0 so we ignore this step and we finally reached our answer the answer is 101 in binary so 0.625 in decimal is equal to 0.101 in binary okay now the third and the last question consist of a combination of both fractions and integer decimal number which we need to convert to a binary number so in this case the number 15.25 in decimal needs to be converted to a binary number Now this problem has two parts. Part A consists of the integer value 15 and part B as as shown on the screen consists of 0.25 which is a fraction value. So we solved part A just like we solved the question number 1 which had a single integer value. So here we write the value 15 and divide it by 2 till we get the quotient 0 and the remainders would be our answer. So 2 divided by 15. So in this case Two sevens are fourteen, which gives us a remainder of one. Two threes are six, which gives us a remainder of one. 
two ones are two, which again gives us a remainder of one, and two zeros are zero, which gives us a remainder of one. So here we reached our answer as we got zero in our quotient, and we write it in a descending order. So here, fifteen in decimal is equal to one 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 in binary. So this is just the part A. Now let's solve part B. So we solve part B just like we solved the question two. We write down the fraction and we multiply it with two, which gives us a value zero point five zero. We write the integer separately. Now we ignore the integer part and carry forward this value for the next iteration. So zero point five zero. Into two will give us one point zero, and we write down the integer separately. In this case, which is one. Now, after we ignore this value, we get zero point zero zero for the next iteration. And since we know zero into two will give us zero, we stop this process over here. So we reached our answer, and in this case, it is in. Ascending order, which is zero one. So zero point two five in decimal is equal to zero point zero one in binary. So now we solve part A and part B. So we just need to club those answers together to get the final answer. So here fifteen point two five. In decimal is equal to one 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 point zero one in binary. That's it for this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you share it with your friends. Also subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when we upload the further tutorials. Peace.